als. My name is Juan Gaitan, I'm the curator of the 8th Berlin Biennale for Contemporary Art and it takes place in three venues. The Museum's Dahlen, where, where we are now, it's a building uh, that was built in two stages in the early uh, 1900s and uh, then in the 1960s and has three museums inside, the European Cultures Museum, the Asian Art Museum and the Ethnographic Museum. We are using also a villa called Hassan Balze, which is, uh, has been a cultural center not very far from here since the 50s. And the KW or Kunstwerke, which is in Mitte and is traditionally the epicenter of the Berlin Biennale. There is the fourth venue or surplus venue that we call is the Crashpad. This was the first uh, piece that opened uh, for the Berlin Biennale. When uh, I started, I thought there had to be a space that grounded the Biennale in Berlin and made it and connected it physically to the city and to the community of, you know, artists and writers, musicians, and so on. So I, uh, I asked Andreas Angelidakis, who's an architect who lives in, he lives in Greece, he's Greek and Norwegian, to design it as a lounge. Uh, and as a gift from the Greeks to the Germans. Because, the, anyway, the long story short is that he uh, built his room with all these rugs that he bought in the flea market in Athens that bring back the, his, the Ottoman history of Greece, which is a part of the history of Greece that has been pushed aside and was replaced with the narrative of antiquity and uh, its connection to modern Greece. The other three venues are for the exhibition proper and they have a different format. This one is meant to ask the visitor to constantly shift between contemporary art and ethnography, Asian art, but never together. So all the spaces that are dedicated to contemporary art are continuous and then you move into the museum there are no contemporary artworks in the collections and then you go back into and the idea is that you start uh, recognizing uh, let's say the contrast between the different kinds of museum practices that we have. The villa Hassan Valse has a sort of um, it's an early 20s villa and it belongs to this idea of the romantic landscape and so it's very open and the pieces are much more um, uh, intimate, let's say, and you have this, you know, personal kind of feeling in the part of the exhibition. And then in Cave, you are very much in the space of contemporary art. Everything is inwards. You don't really get access to the outside, and you're following the installations one after another. And the way I see the Biennale. It's an occasion to approach all those things that form our political reality, our social reality, and give them enough of a fresh view to continue to think actively and, in a way, uh, um, productively about precisely this reality. So it's a, it's a sort. Of, I see art as a series of analytical and critical dispositives that help us relate to our own environment in a much more, uh, let's say, sensitive, but also in intelligent and, and uh, you know, productive way. There's uh, Edouard Glissant and all these poets from the Caribbean wrote a beautiful manifesto in uh, the late 90s called the Manifesto for Products of High Necessity. And it's uh, supposed to base uh, necessity, basic needs and high necessity. And in that, for them, it's not a question of the utility of art, but of the necessity that we have of all sorts of po poetry in their case, but also arts, uh, music, 
to develop an intelligent consciousness about who we are as a society and as a, pe as a people. So yes, precisely. <laughs> we need that. <laughs>